In the Indonesian capital, this former military compound is now home to hundreds of refugees from Afghanistan. There's little to do here but wait and worry. It's not a life that we're living. We live in depression. We are stressed all day. Sultan has been following news about Afghanistan, waiting for information about the town he left nearly seven years ago. For more than a month, he has not been able to contact his wife or his mother. Day and night I think about them. The Taliban has captured Malistan. I'm worried and I don't know anything about how they are. Since the Taliban takeover, there have been regular protests outside the UN Refugee Agency office and foreign embassies here, calling for refugee rights and to speed up the resettlement process. Then how can they say, go back to your country? Refugees are allowed to stay in Indonesia while waiting to be accepted by other countries, but they are not allowed to work or go to school. Refugee advocates say Indonesia should see itself as more than a transit country. Sooner or later, uh, Indonesia is going to be not only transit, but the destination countries. And the government should be aware and prepare of that. The Indonesian government says it anticipates that more people may try to leave Afghanistan, but Indonesia is not a place for permanent resettlement. Our policy is clear. We are not a destination country. We did not sign any international convention on refugees. Outside the UN building in central Jakarta, a group of young men camps here every day, waiting for news about their resettlement and hoping to hear from their families. There are more than 13,000 refugees in Indonesia and more than half are from Afghanistan. The long wait to be resettled is now even more stressful as they're increasingly concerned about the people they left behind. Abdullah says he hasn't been able to reach his mother or sister in months. And I have too much stress, but I cannot help myself. How can I help my people or, or my family in Afghanistan? Like everyone here, he worries about his own future and the fate of his family.